Hello friends, welcome to CurseBreak.com. This is Evangelista Fernando Perez. It's such a great blessing to come to you again to pray for every one of you in need of spiritual help. Today, I'm taking this time to pray a spiritual warfare prayer to bless and to protect your day. This prayer is designed to be played before you start your day in the morning. And I'm praying the word of God over you and making prophetic declarations to bless your day. And I'm standing with you in the authority of the word of God found in the book of Psalms, chapter 5 and verse 3. The Bible declares, In the morning, O Lord, you will hear my voice. In the morning, I will lay my prayers before you and I will look up. And also in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Amen. And also Psalms 16, 8, the Bible declares, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. So before we begin to pray, people of God, I would ask you right now that you don't allow anything to distract you and put your full attention on Jesus. So let's pray. Let's call upon his name. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus, to pray and to stand with my precious brother and sister. I'm praying this is spiritual word for prayer to start the day. And I'm asking you, as I read your word over them, I pray, let your word wash away all the anxiety, all the fears, every turmoil. Let the power of your word break every stronghold of anxiety, break every stronghold of the enemy that is trying to hinder my brother, my sister to hear you. Lord Jesus, I pray right now, let them come under a mighty revelation of intimacy with the Father and a deeper passion and hunger for your word. I ask in Jesus' name that as your people listen to this morning prayer, let them be protected from all types of harm and evil assignments against them. I ask in Jesus' name that you release your fiery angels on behalf of them as I'm praying for them right now. And I'm standing with them according to the word that is found in the book of Psalms, chapter 34, in verse 7. Your word declares, The angel of the Lord encamp around those who fear him and delivers them. And also Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 14, your word declares, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister to those who inherit salvation? So, Father God, right now, I pray this prayer of protection over each one of them. As I'm praying for them, let your ministering angels, Lord God, minister to them and help me, Lord God, as I'm declaring, as I'm prophesying over my brother my sister. Father God, I declare Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12 right now upon my brother and my sister. Let your power come upon them even as I read this word over them. Your word declares, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. Father, right now, I declare that every assignment of the enemy that is coming against them, that they are not seeing, Lord God, I command it to be broken right now or fight. Lord God, is not against people, is not against flesh and blood. And so right now, every demonic assignment coming against my brother, my sister, I command it to be destroyed even now by the power of your word. Also, I declare and I decree, Lord God, your word, Psalms 91 verse 7 over them. Your word declares a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but you will not come near you. I declare that today is a new day to experience the God that saves, the God that heals, 
the God that delivers, that the God that restores, I declare right now revelation of the love of the Father, revelation coming upon each one of them. Some of them, Lord God, they have an orphan spirit. Some of them, they've never been able to experience the love of Abba Father. And so right now I declare the word of God is removing right now everything that hinders this man, this woman to receive the love of the Father, to experience the love of the Father, to come into the revelation of the love of the Father. I declare right now healing of this orphan spirit. I declare my brother, my sister, they are not orphans. They are loved by you. I declare right now healing coming upon their hearts in this orphan spirit this spirit of rejection this spirit of abandonment is gone from their lives right now in Jesus mighty name Father I thank you for what you're doing right now people of God just receive the word of God is washing away all your fears the word of God is washing away all the heaviness all the anxiety everything that hinders you to have an amazing morning with your heaven Heavenly Father, receive right now in Jesus' name. Father, also I declare and I decree that is destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every demonic roadblock, every demonic hindrance, every demonic delay, barrier, snare, trap of the enemy that is hindering this man, this woman to walk in victory and to accomplish their calling and their destiny on this earth. I declare direction. I declare clarity of mind coming upon them right now in Jesus name. I declare that they will hear the voice of God in a new way. Everything that hinders them to hear the voice of God that hinders them to have clarity everything that hinders them to hear your voice calling on their name father right now I declare demonic plugs spiritual plugs in the ear that hinders them to hear your voice is gone right now come out in Jesus name come out in the mighty name of Jesus right now in Jesus mighty name father I pray that you speak them through the still small voice in the inside I pray that you speak to them Lord God through the audible voice I pray that you speak to them through your word I pray that you speak to them through one of your servants I pray that you speak to them Lord God through dreams and visions I pray that you heal and that you restore their identity some of them Lord God they have identity issues some of them they have no clue who they are in Christ and so right now the anointing to restore their identity coming upon them in your precious mighty name receive right now people of God just place your hand on your heart receive right now the anointing to heal the anointing to restore your identity some of you are so lost some of you you believe in what Satan is telling you some of if you are believing what society is telling you, you cannot understand what God says about you. So right now, receive the revelation of who you are in Christ. Receive the revelation, receive the love of God to heal and to restore your identity. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I decree over you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Some of you are being healed right now even as I speak. The anointing is coming upon you. The heaven is coming out of you. The lies of the devil is leaving you right now. The turmoil, the confusion is leaving you right now in Jesus' name. And the identity of who you are in Christ is being formed right now inside of you. The identity of who you are is being restored upon your life right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, also I declare and I decree protection protection from wicked and violent people coming against this man, this woman. Father, I declare and I decree Psalms 140 verse 1 over them. Your word declares, rescue me, Lord, from evil doors. Protect me from the violent. Verse 2, who devise evil plans in their hearts 
and stir up war every day. Father, I declare deliverance from every snare and every trap that evil doors, Lord God, that enemies have placed in front of them is being destroyed right now. I pray, Lord God, throughout this day that they will walk in protection and safety. Lord God, I pray specifically for protection and safety. Lord God, as they commute back and forth to work, school, Lord God, as they run errands, I pray, Father God, that you protect them as they drive on roads and freeways and highways. I ask you, Lord God, let your angels be around them, protecting them. And I pray that you deliver them from car break-ins. I pray that you protect them from car accidents. I pray that you protect them from car wreck. I pray that you protect them, Lord God, from car breaking down while driving. I pray, Father God, that you protect them from thieves. I pray that you protect them from robbers. I pray that you protect them from premature death. I declare and I decree in the mighty name of Jesus protection and safety in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God, as they drive their car, I pray as they walk, as they get, Lord God, on the bus, as they get, Lord God, on the train, Lord God, as they get on their bike, I declare over them Isaiah 54. 417 your word declares and no weapon form against them shall prosper what you're releasing lord god into their lives through this morning prayer will take them lord god throughout this day under the glory under the anointing of your presence i declare in your precious name also lord god i declare and i decree supernatural prosperity and increase coming upon my brother my sister right now right I now in Jesus name I declare according to 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 Lord God your word declares and God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times having all that you need you abound in every good work hallelujah also Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 the Bible declares and my God shall supply all your need according to his reach and glory by Christ Jesus. I declare right now, Father God, that blessings is coming upon each one of them because your word declares in 3 John 1, 2, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospering. So, Father, I I declare and I decree blessings. I declare favor. I declare success. I declare promotions. I declare raises. I declare new jobs. I pray for new doors of prosperity. I pray, Lord God, for finance to come from, from the four corners of the earth. I pray, Lord God, that you connect my brother, my sister today. I pray that you bless their day. I pray that you bless the work of their hands. I pray that whatever it is that they do for a living, what they do, what they place their hands, let it prosper, let it be successful, let it grow. I pray, Lord God, for divine intelligence coming upon them as well. I pray that you anoint their head with divine intelligence. I pray that you touch them, touch the, their hands and put, a, Lord God, new skills in their hand. I pray that you give them new ability, Lord God, to do new things for the glory of your name. Also, I pray for supernatural ideas to come upon them in your precious mighty name that my brother and my sister will get themselves thinking about ways to make income, ways to prosper that they never been able to. I commend that everything that hovers over the mind hindering your people to grow in their career, to grow in their job, to grow, Lord God, in their finances, I declare broken Jesus' name. Broken right now in Jesus' name. I declare right now, Father God, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the mindset of poverty has been removed right now. Every spirit of poverty, mindset of poverty, mindset of lack has been 
broken right now broken right now in Jesus name father I pray give my brother my sister the mindset of your kingdom I bless them I declare prosperity I declare income I declare Lord God that you bless my brother my sister I pray that you make them the head and not the tail that you put them above and not beneath I pray father God that you bless them Lord God in the city I pray that you bless them in the field I pray that you bless them whatever they place their hands to do bless them prosper them in your precious mighty name I declare I prophesy that this day is a blessed day I prophesy and I declare that this day is a day of new beginning is a day of shift is a day Lord God where your glory will be seen upon my brother my sister as they pray this prayer Lord God daily as they continue Lord God to feed themselves through this word I pray Father God let your glory let your kingdom change their lives forever I pray Father God bless them release your anointing release a new passion a new hunger to know you I pray right now revival coming upon each one of them revive stir up their hearts stir up their passion I pray touch them from the top of their head to the very bottom of their feet I bless them I bless them and I bless them in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit hallelujah praise the name of God come on people of God just raise your hand to heaven this is the day that the Lord has made let us rejoice let us be glad in him come on there's a new day there's a new beginning there's a new season come on receive people of God receive in Jesus mighty name if you receive this prayer would you repeat this prayer with all your heart just repeat this prayer with all sincerity of your heart come on say heavenly father I thank you for what you're doing in my life today say Lord Jesus I surrender my life to you change my life say Jesus I ask you forgive me of all my sins come into my heart be my Savior, be my Lord, be my everything. Say, Jesus, restore my life. Fill me with the Holy Spirit and power. Say, Jesus, I want to walk in newness of life. Say, Jesus, empower me to have a strong life of prayer from now on. Say, Jesus, I ask you, fill me, baptize me, revive me, save me, raise me up to be a testimony in your hand say thank you Jesus for this new day that is ahead of me I will live the purpose and the plans that you have for my life I receive power I receive strength from above in your precious name amen and amen praise the Lord praise the Lord what a great blessing people of God what a wonderful time of prayer and prophetic declarations amen I know without a shadow of doubt that God is touching your life and he's changing your life for the glory of his name amen I would encourage you to continue to listen to this morning prayer to bless you to encourage you as you listen to this prayer daily I believe you're going to enter into new realms in God's glory that you've never been before. Amen. What a great blessing. People of God, before I finish, I would ask you if the Lord is blessing you through my online deliverance ministry. And if you have the condition, if you like to make a donation of any amount to help us to continue to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, then please visit my website, cursebreak.com and make a donation nation there to help us amen praise God people of God I love you God bless you stay strong in the promises of God and don't forget that the best days of your life is still ahead of you as you continue to surrender your life to the will of God I love you bye for now